Welcome fellow developers. I know I enjoy finding new ways to visualize application performance, and I think the tool that I'm about to present to you will enhance your development workflow as well. My name is Swapnil, and I am a graphics software engineer at Qualcomm. Today, I'm going to show you how to get started with the Snapdragon Profiler. Snapdragon Profiler is a profiling tool that allows developers to analyze the performance of applications running on devices powered by Snapdragon technology. In this video, we will go over the installation, device connection, basic real-time and trace functionality of Snapdragon Profiler. This walkthrough will be performed on a device running a version of Microsoft Windows built with ARM architecture. Snapdragon Profiler is intended to be run on a client machine which is remotely connected to the target device. Although the client machine can be Windows, Linux, or Mac-based, we will use a Windows machine for this video. We will also be using a target device running an ARM64-based version of Microsoft Windows. You can start by installing Snapdragon Profiler on your host machine. The installer will walk you through the required steps and it will prompt you for any dependencies that it is unable to find. Various components are installed as part of the overall profiler installation. Please follow the installation prompts until completion. If profiling a Windows-based device with Snapdragon technology, the Snapdragon Profiler monitor must be installed first and launched. The monitor will run in the background and it enables the target device to connect and communicate with Snapdragon Profiler running on the client machine. The monitor is not required for any other target platform at this point in time. The monitor installer can be found within the install directory on the client machine. Copy this installer to the target device, run the installer, and launch the monitor once complete. Now, I will walk you through the procedure of connecting to the target device. First, start Snapdragon Profiler on the client machine. To initiate the connection to the target device, click Start a Session. This will bring up the connection dialog. If this is the first time connecting to the Windows target device, you will need to add a new device definition. Otherwise, you can select the previously defined connection from the provided list. Click Add New Device. This will bring up the Device Definition dialog. Here, you will select the device type, which in our case will be Windows. Give it an appropriate device name. Finally, enter the IP address of the target device and click Save. The device name will be displayed in the listed connection options the next time you run Snapdragon Profile. The status for the newly added device should show a green icon, indicating that it is ready to connect. If the status is showing a red icon for the target device, double check that the IP address is correct and that the target device is on the same network as the client machine. You can edit previously saved connection settings as needed. Click Connect. Snapdragon Profiler will now connect to the target device. Once successful, the connection dialog will automatically close and you may now begin your profiling session. Now that we have connected the Snapdragon Profiler to the target device, let's take a look at the real-time mode. 
Real-time mode allows users to collect various metrics for visualizing and analyzing system-wide device behavior. Metrics give the user discrete measurements of specific activity executing on Snapdragon hardware. This can include basic clock counts, cache hits and misses, and throughput between different hardware elements. The default sampling period for real-time metrics is roughly every 50 milliseconds, although the sampling rate for GPU metrics can be changed in the options view. To start collecting real-time performance metrics, click Real-time Performance Analysis. This will open a data sources view showing available real-time metrics. There are various categories of metrics to help you choose the right set based on the data you are interested in gathering. For this demo, we will activate the following metrics. Clocks per second under the GPU general category. GPU percent bus busy also under the GPU general category. And percent shaders busy under the GPU shader processing category. You can see the different values reported as you launch different applications on your Windows device, especially in comparison to only having the desktop visible with no graphics apps running. Another mode for displaying information is the Trace Capture mode. Trace mode allows users to collect detailed graphics workload information from an application using DirectX 11 or DirectX 12. To start collecting trace data, click System Trace Analysis. This will open the data sources view showing available system and per process trace metrics. To gather a trace from a specific process, click the Launch button. Launching the target application this way allows Snapdragon Profiler to enable the required instrumentation for profiling. After filling out the executable path, working directory, and any desired command line arguments, click Launch. The application should now be running on the target device, and the process name should appear at the top of the data sources view. After selecting your newly launched process from the list, you can then select Process, DirectX 12, Rendering Stages from the list of available metrics. Additional metrics can also be selected such as Process, Clocks, or other per process or system level metrics. In general, traces gather a lot of information. It is recommended to gather short traces of one to two seconds or less to avoid having to sort through too much data. Start the trace by clicking the Start Capture button near the top left of the screen. Once the trace starts, you can click the Stop Capture button in the same location to stop the trace capture. Once the resulting trace data has been received and processed, various views will update to show the gathered data. Using the mouse or through the navigation buttons available directly in the trace view, you are able to pan, scroll, navigate through the timestamp data as needed. Graphics workloads can be analyzed to better understand the application behavior. This is useful to spot areas where performance improvements could be made. For example, larger gaps may indicate that no graphics work is seemingly done. Metric data, when selected as part of the trace, will also be visible, correlating with the various graphics stages shown above. These are used to help explain the behavior of the various stages shown as part of the trace. As you can see, Snapdragon Profiler is an exceptional tool for visualizing the behavior of your device powered by Snapdragon technology. In this video, we have demonstrated the newly added support for profiling a device with Snapdragon technology running an ARM64 version of Microsoft Windows. In addition, we have learned how it can be used to display both system-wide, real-time, and per-process trace data. 
you have now become familiar with Snapdragon Profiler and are ready to begin optimizing your applications and fixing performance issues. Undoubtedly, this tool will help bolster your development process as it has for thousands of other developers. Please visit developer.qualcom.com to start using Snapdragon Profiler in your development workflow.